Hey, this is Pastor Michael Yurisha, and I want to invite you to hit that like and subscribe button and drop us a comment if you will. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you receive all of our updates. God bless you. Come on, let's get to the Word. So in essentials, we must have unity. We're talking about the church and good doctrine. The non-essentials, we give grace. How many of you know whether you speak in tongues or you don't speak in tongues, it's a non-essential. It's not a deal breaker. We can still have fellowship. Amen. My brothers who don't speak in tongues, I always say it this way. Listen, I'm not offended that you don't speak in tongues, so please don't be offended if I do. Amen? Amen. That's not a deal breaker. Water baptism, whether you're getting sprinkled on or dunked other uh, uh, under, under the water, it doesn't matter whether you baptize them in the name of Jesus or in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Because how many of you know people split because of these simple things? Non-essential. What your position is, women in ministry. There's a plethora of ideas and ideologies how women should fit in the church. We don't split on those issues. We don't split on the gifts of the Spirit. We don't split about eternity, uh, eternal security, whether you're once saved or always saved, or if you could lose your salvation. We don't split on those doctrines. Listen, we don't split over Christmas. Because not everybody celebrates that the same way. Are y'all with me? So we don't split fellowship. These are non-essential doctrines. Whether you believe in pre-trib, mid-trib, post-trib, whether you're pre-meal, a-meal, or you believe in the treadmill, whatever, we give grace somebody. My God. Watch this. Paul addresses this to the Corinthians in 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 1, verses 10 and 13. Watch. He says, I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say, and that there are no divisions among you, but that you may be perfectly united in mind and thought. Paul is speaking of essential doctrines because we know later in other epistles, he writes, listen, some of you celebrate the Lord's feast, some of you don't. Whatever you want to do, there's grace at the cross of Jesus Christ. He's talking about essential doctrines. He goes on to say in verse 11, my brothers and sisters, some from Chloe's household have informed me that there are quarrels among you. What I mean is this. When he says, oh, I follow Paul. Oh, I follow Apollos. Ooh, I follow uh, Cephas. If, if I want to amplify that, ooh, I follow John MacArthur. Ooh, I follow Perry Stone. I follow David Jeremiah. After all, his name is in the Bible, huh? He has to be right. Do you hear what? That's what they're saying. But then you have the super spiritual. Ooh, I don't follow any man. I follow Christ. That's what Paul writes here. He says. And still another, I follow Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Were you baptized into the name of Paul? So Paul was saying, come on, church, stop the nonsense. Don't major on the minors. Don't make mountains out of molehills. Listen, Judah, we have a lot of devils to battle. We don't need to be fighting amongst ourselves over non, listen, nonsensical issues. If you know me, I am all in for debating scriptures one-on-one -on -one in a group chat. I love to banter the scriptures. Iron sharpens iron. Amen. My fellow elder and pastor here, Andy Kennedy, uh, my brother Abraham Sandler, the Messianic rabbi, him and I, the three of us, we differ on certain doctrines, but it doesn't break our fellowship. How many of you know it's all right to read the Bible and come to a different conclusion? If it's non-essential, talk about it, ponder it, think maybe eventually you'll see it the way I do. Amen? But, but y'all, I mean, I have pastors around the world that I, we, we talk about different things and we come to different conclusions and see things a little different. It's okay. 
It doesn't break our fellowship. I'm all about debating scripture, but only when it is in love and not a matter of who's right. If you have to be right, my friend, that's nothing but pride. I'll just go ahead and let that sit there. In essentials, we have to have unity. Non-essentials, we give grace. But in all things, we love. Whether they're Muslim, whether they're an atheist, whether they're of the LGBTQ community, how many of you know we need to love them? How many of you know we need to love them, Republicans? How many of you know we love the we have to love those Democrats and those independents. Come on, somebody. We're called to love. How many of you know we got to love Joe Biden? Well, I'm, I'm going to walk in it now, y'all. I'm, I'm in there. You better love Donald Trump. Your Bible commands you to do it. Hey, this is Pastor Michael Yurisha, and I hope you enjoyed today's short word. Now, you can help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ all over the earth by simply hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And last but not least, share this message with all your friends and family. Well, God bless you, and Maranatha, Jesus Christ is coming soon.